being strong girl. Look at you. Are you listening to my voice? Do you remember me? Oh, fuck. Sometimes I can walk into somebody's house and get a sense of, there's not going to be a birth here. This is a transport. Oh, you picked the right parents for the job. You did. My name is Michelle Fitzgerald, and I've been a midwife for 32 years. Officially, I'm a CPM, LM, preceptor, meaning... I teach midwives to be midwives, and I've been a midwife for probably 2,000 births, at least. I've lost count, but that's how many I have files for. I think intuition and dreams are hugely uh, interchangeable. I think babies in utero, when you look at them as newborns, they fade in and out of that sort of dream state, not real state. And I think because I live that a lot with pregnant women, I sort of go there too. You know, the, the information I get, the intuitive information I get just comes. You know, and you'll hear that from people who are songwriters, people who are writers, uh, that it just comes. And I think the same thing in midwifery. If you're open to that, the information comes. Okay. How does it feel higher? Feel like this feels a lot like this. No, feels yeah. about the same. Yeah. Uh, I mean, clearly the top of the head is in your pelvis, but not the whole head. Oh, oh, oh. Before it was like, oh, we're just feeling shoulders. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, the whole head's down there. So, are you gonna measure and tell me mm-hmm. what number did, did you pee for us? Or not yet? Yeah, yes, he did. What that number? Right. I think I argue with God sometimes. God the universe, whatever you want it to be, when the outcome isn't perfect. And I'm walking through that with a family with maybe a genetic disorder or, you know, um, something that, uh, you know, they didn't expect that was traumatic. Um, Those are trying times. Um, Bittersweet, but trying. I think you learn the most from those odd outcomes, twins, breaches, you know, babies that don't survive in utero for whatever reason, cord mishaps, don't make it to to birth, don't make it to nine months, miscarriages, you know, you're you're dealing with life and death. It's it's gonna happen and you have to be able to walk through that with your eyes wide open with the mother so that she doesn't have to revisit it later. I had a headache for two days during that whole thing. I was (laughs) stressing. Yeah, it was. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, it was all that tight. Oh my gosh, it's so fascinating. It's like, you know, nobody is that open. I mean, you talk about the weather, you know, but at birth, you don't talk about the weather. You talk deeply about heartfelt things, you know, and it's that's the birth junkie in me loves that depth. (laughs) And then they get to pick a color. As you notice, well, most of the pinks are gone. It's powerful. And I think, you know, people have fears and doubts. That's why they choose C-sections. And they think they can get out of pain, you know. And, you know, there's certain things that you want to walk through, even though it's painful, because it changes you for the better on so many levels, even though, yeah, it's difficult. It's there were a lot of lemmings out there for a lot of centuries and it's I think there's that wanting to get back to that sort of primal stuff is is important and should be honored.